Alrighty guys, what is going on? I'm Tubby Emu, Wrestlemania, less than eight, eight hours away tonight. Now this match is probably about 10, maybe 11 hours away, but I am excited, ready to go, pumped up for Wrestlemania 28. Undertaker taking on Triple H with Shawn Michaels as the special guest referee. Now, guys, if you don't leave a like on this video, you must not like wrestling. <laughs> yes, but you, in all honesty, hashtag money whore, leave a like. Um, Undertaker versus Triple H is a match that now this is the third time they're facing off at WrestleMania. You know, last year when they were facing off, and it was the second time it, they were facing off, I was, you know, disappointed you know, that they were going that route, that they were going to let that match happen again. Um, because if you look at the, the the list of opponents Undertaker's had, he could have some better WrestleMania opponents. Um, but when you think about it, you know, I think Triple H is the right person. Because, uh, you know, other than that, who do, who do you really go? You know, if Brock does come back, yeah, Brock could be one of the guys that does it. But Brock's been gone for a long time, so it really wouldn't make sense to give him the victory um, I'm at a point where when I was thinking of this match, um, and I made a, numerous videos talking about this, where I have no idea how the WWE Universe got behind this match. This is one of the matches that when it was first announced, people were like, wait, what? Why? Why would they face off for a third time? Um, they, the first time it was announced, uh, like the crowd booed, like, it was like a 30-70 split of people that wanted to see that match. Like, it was 70% of people going, we don't want to see it. And then out of nowhere, in the, in the next two, three weeks, The Undertaker and Triple H turned it into like an 80-20 split of people wanting to see it. And I was very like, what the hell is going on? How is this match one of those ones that people, you know, want to see for a third time? And for me, what made the difference is when HBK made his speech to both of these guys, or it may have just been an undertaker, that, you know, he said, how ironic that you ended my career, now I have the ability to end your career, end the streak. And that, to me, gives a whole new spin on this match and makes it more relevant. Like, if it was just Undertaker versus Triple H, I wouldn't want to see it whatsoever. I think that would be a very boring match, you know, to watch again. Um, and one of the things that was, you know, speculated was the Hell in a Cell. The problem with the Hell in a Cell match is the WWE, you know, being so-called PG, you know, can they have blood? Can they break the cage open? Can they go through the cage? Can they bust shit open? Can they be bleeding? I don't know. Um, you know, the WWE has shown a little bit of blood. You know, they did show Cody Rhodes all bloodied up. Uh, he was a lot worse at the tapings from the pictures I saw, but they did show a little bit of blood on him. Um, and if they were to show blood here, it could kind of give some hope for Extreme Rules to have some blood as well. Uh, in my opinion, blood isn't always needed for a feud, but a match like this, these two guys are going to go to hell and back. They're getting extra time on the card. Speculation is that Chris Jericho versus CM Punk and these two and Rock versus Cena are going to get extra time for their matches, which obviously they should. Um, but when it comes to this one, I think there's got to be some blood. I think there's got to be, you know, weapons. I think there's got to be, obviously, sledgehammers. And, you know, Triple H says he knows what he has to do to beat The Undertaker, which, you know, may or may not be true. I mean, I mean, what do you really have to do? Because, uh, in my opinion, it's like, Wait, you I mean you know you would have to do? Why didn't you do it last year? You know, so basically Triple H should in this match the way it's been building up, just start off. He should just come out, hit Undertaker with a sledgehammer, and that's how the match should end. Just beat him crazy with a sledgehammer. Um, but that's not the point. What the, the point is is that this match is an end of an era in a way. These are the guys you know now with reportedly Brock Lesnar coming back. Yeah, some of the Attitude Era guys are starting to come back. You got A-Train coming back now. But these two guys are legends. They're they're amazing. You know, other than Chris Jericho, there's really nobody still around that was huge in that era. And, you know, when I think about these two, it's kind of sad to think that, you know, if 
Undertaker's streak does end. It's it's like it really is the end of an era. It's a generation where Undertaker was feared, loved, everything about him. And I'm actually kind of nervous, you know. I think about this match, and you know, logic tells me that it's the Undertaker. Why in the world would they end his streak? Why not let him retire? Why not let him go out twenty and zero, twenty one and zero, whatever the plan is? Why not just let him go out? Why does it have to end? There's no reason the streak has to end. Triple H says it best, there's no reason, it's bad for business. If people aren't coming to see the streak, if I end the streak, then people, you know, what's the point? So they make a very convincing argument for why Triple H shouldn't beat The Undertaker. You know, but you throw HBK in there, and then there's a variable for potentially having HBK versus Triple H at next year's WrestleMania. That could be huge. If HBK fucks over Triple H and then they have a match at SummerSlam or WrestleMania or something like that, that could potentially set up a huge match. And with the talk of Rock being back for next year, uh, Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, they, they could have potentially three matches full of Attitude Era guys. They could have Rock versus Lesnar. They could have Triple H versus HBK. And they could have Undertaker versus Brock. I think that's what I said. And there's huge potential for that. So coming into this match, I think my prediction is going to be that Undertaker will get the victory because of Shawn Michaels. Now, as much as I want to say the streak should end, I have a personal belief that the streak shouldn't end. So a lot of you guys would probably disagree and say Undertaker is going to lose as a as a as a fan of the Undertaker, as a fan of WWE, I would hope on a personal level that they were nice enough not nice enough, but they were willing to let Undertaker go out with a streak intact. That's what I think they should do. It's the right thing to do. He's gave everything to the company. He deserves to have the streak. On a more personal level level, however, you know, as a is a is a super big fan, not just caring about what the Undertaker does. I want to see Triple H beat him. I think it would be one of the biggest surprises of the year, the oh-my-God moment of the year. So that is my prediction. I'm going to say Triple H loses because of HBK, but I would prefer if Triple H won, guys. Let me know your predictions. Tubby out.